Carl Woese. Carl Woese was born in New York in the USA on the 15th of July, 1928. He was fascinated by science from a very young age. He gained a degree in mathematics and physics at Amherst College in Massachusetts and had an interest in biology at that time. However, one of Woese's college professors recommended he studied biophysics. So just three years later, aged 24, he graduated with a PhD in biophysics. Woese continued his education by studying medicine and carried out research into bacteria, viruses and genetics. He was very interested in the work done by two scientists called Linus Pauling and Emil Zuckerandl, who investigated evolution and genetics based on the DNA and RNA of organisms. Woese realized that by analyzing and comparing genetic information in the ribosomes of organisms, he could compare their ancestry very easily. During his research and experimentation, Woese discovered a whole new domain of life. At first, a lot of other scientists didn't agree with his findings or his experimental method. In fact, it took around a decade before his work was widely accepted. His discovery meant that he could redraw the tree of life including the new domain. For many years it was widely accepted that life on Earth was split between two domains, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are organisms with cells that do not contain a nucleus, for example, bacteria. Eukaryotes are organisms with cells that do contain a nucleus, like animals and plants. However, Carl Woese discovered the domain archaea. Archaea are microbes much like bacteria, but with a different genetic makeup. At first, people thought archaea only lived in extreme environments, like in geothermal springs, like those at Yellowstone Park, but actually, you can find archaea everywhere, from the soil in your garden to inside your own digestive system. Unfortunately, scientists still don't know very much about them and still have a lot to learn.